So again, for the third time, I am waiting for them over here to make a single copy of a piece of paper that I turned in. I turned in a FOIA request. I want it date, stamped, copied and returned to me so there's evidence that I turned it in like every other FOIA request I do. And why are you here? I've asked you to be away from me. Well, well we work here, so that's not- Why am I here? I've explained it six times. I didn't times. ask you that. Okay, what, what I'm is just it? telling are you to stop. Okay, well, I'm you telling you I'm your, good. Have you put in your request, sir? And I'm telling you I'm good. All right, what's up, squad? Here we are. Just left the library after talking to Nisa. I'm now at the police headquarters out here in Millersville, Maryland. I guess this is General's Highway, Veterans Highway, sorry, Veterans Highway. 8495 Veterans Highway. And we're here to find out why I was told two and a half months ago that I would receive the decision on a complaint that I filed back in 2019. I was told in two weeks I would get the complaint or I would receive the decision and uh, it's been two and a half months. They told me the lady was on vacation. That people should be allowed to have paid time off and they're entitled to that. So we're here to find out why uh, that hasn't been sent out yet. And what's going on? Okay. Whew. I originally filed a complaint with Sergeant Sazeski, whatever the fuck his name is. And uh, they tried to send me a letter saying they hadn't received the written portion of my complaint even though it was all on video and yeah i'm here to talk to sergeant slajewski how do you say his name yeah. how, how do you say it slajewski yeah i'm here to speak to him do you have an appointment with him no let me see i don't even know where he works i don't think he's in this building yeah he is okay. Four, three. Oh, i'm sorry i filed that complaint in 2020 not 2019 i apologize it was 2020 I simply asked for the video footage in my my written statement and they tried to say it would cost me $689 for my written statement in the video footage. That lady right there. Yeah, her sitting right back there next to the Christmas tree. Michelle Berry. Tried to tell me that I should send them a money order for $689 and that they would send me a refund if it was any less than that. Okay, thank you. What's up, buddy? What's going on, man? Uh, you sent me an email like two and a half months ago saying that I would get that decision in like two weeks. Get what decision? From the, the incident where I filed the complaint with you back in 2020. And you emailed me and you said that you reviewed it and you sent it up to your superiors and it would be reviewed and in about two weeks I would receive a decision. It's been like two and a half months. And that was the, the that complaint was the, for the, the excessive force with the CID building, Did Detective you get a Lewis. On that? No. Let me go see if I can find When it. I called, they said the lady, uh, they, they said that they could see the letter was waiting to be sent out, but somebody was on vacation, so it hadn't been sent out yet. And then they told me that that person is entitled to paid time off, so. Gotcha. Let me okay. go check. Let me see if the letter's up there. All right, thank you. Hey, Miss, can I also turn this? Oh, sorry. I'll use the proper channels of communication. Well, at least he's a lot nicer this time. He's not screaming at us. Doesn't seem to be under the influence of any drugs or narcotics today. Only the video footage of the lobby of the CID building contained in this report. Thank you.
No one gonna. She's so bad because I got a camera on. Look at her. Yeah, twice. I need to turn this in. Apparently there was like a. Uh... Oh, I see it. Yep. What's your name next to your address? I apologize. Oh no, I'm good. Can you see where your name number? Yeah, no, I'm good. I, I my address is on there. You don't want to put your name? No, I'm good. My name's in the report. Oh, okay. My name's in the report. That's linked to that. Okay, I'm gonna put on her name in the report. Okay. But yeah, I requested all this and they sent me a thing saying it would be between somewhere between 400 and some odd, between like 480 to 650 dollars and right. I could pay the higher amount and then you guys would send me a refund if there was any left over. I'm simply requesting only the video. I'm simply requesting only the video footage. They sent me a thing, you know, saying all of the fees that are right there where your thumb is at uh -huh. and telling me that it would, uh, they estimated it to cost somewhere between 460 or 480 to $650. Okay. That I could pay the higher amount and that you guys would send me a check for the refund reimbursement if there was any left over. Okay. I'm not requesting all of the written statements and all of the written files from the discovery. I'm simply requesting just the video footage of the CID building lobby that is contained within that report. It's an internal affairs investigation that I had opened. I just want the video footage. It should only cost me $40 at most. No. That's what it says over there. But let me, let me find out for sure. That's what it says right there on the side, $40 for audio, video, right there. $40, audio, photo, video, CD. I am strictly only requesting the video file. Okay, you yep. want to put the proper incident number on there? It's, it's at 2020-043. That's not the number. That's the report number. No, it isn't. Okay, that's what I was given. It's not the, that's not the number. Well, that's what I put down last time, and they sent me a letter saying that they had the proper information, so it gets there. All right, have a seat for me, okay? Let me find okay. out what's going on. All right. Thank you, sir. You got Appreciate it. you. I also, so I just turned in... Um, another FOIA request. Apparently I, I was requesting the video footage from this, uh, from the, the lobby of the thing, and they sent me a thing saying it was going to be like 480 to $650 and I could pay the maximum amount and they would send me a reimbursement check for the, the difference if there was any. Um, yeah, I'm not requesting like all of the written stuff. I simply just wanted the video file. It should only cost me $40 and I guess they're trying to argue, they're trying to argue that with me, but it says it right here on this thing. But they, they, they said that I need the incident number or the report number. I gave it to them. It was, yeah, 2020-043, and she said that's not it. But as you can see, it's right here. So that 2020-043, uh -huh. that's our internal affairs case number. Okay. That's not a police report number. Oh, yeah, so there's no, there's no police report because I wasn't arrested or anything. I, I opened the investigation. Right, I called you guys. If you... I mean, there's probably an informational report that was generated from when well, they, there was when they, because yeah, from the yeah, because uh, when Patrick I slammed my brother, charged. yeah, yep, so. that's that, absolutely. So yeah, I'm sure there was an informational or an arresting report generated. Sorry, generated for that, um, but I myself don't have one because uh, right. But if you give him that number from Patrick, uh huh, all the video footage would be it'd okay. be the same video. Footage. Okay. Now how do I get that? Uh, how do I get that incident number? How do I go about getting that? Wouldn't it be contained within the... So what are they going to say that I have to FOIA the written part of this just to get the incident number to then FOIA the video footage? They can't... Well, I, I, so I used this 2020-043 and they sent me the letter about all of the charges. So they obviously were able to find the proper documentation using well, they, those numbers. They shouldn't have been able to find anything from that number. Because uh, that's all kept in our office upstairs. Uh, that's, we don't really send you that to the records. Department. Yeah. Sorry. Um... When was that? Do you remember when it was? It was July something. It was right? July of 2020. Yeah, it was July of 2020. So they wouldn't still have that video footage just sitting in the records, but it would be pulled as part of this investigation. Now, technically, that's still an ongoing uh, open case. So I, I guess, like, technically he could subpoena that footage for his own purposes if he needed to, and that's a way around the situation. Hold on one second, sir. 
Uh huh. Well, you have my mailing address, so what? That's fine. You don't. It doesn't matter. Mr. Falter, I'm gonna go get you that case. Now. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, uh, you work for the public. You gave up your right to privacy when you came out in the public I today. To come Unfortunately. Check my brake light that I had to get replaced. So I don't care if you want to videotape or not. Sorry. I don't want to have my rights infringed upon, and I don't want to be slammed or excessive force used against me. But all those okay. things happen. So. Thank you. I want a million dollars, but I don't think anyone's going to come give me a million dollars, are they? Y'all got 27 cameras in this building. Why are you uncomfortable about mine, sweetheart? I can video, I can pull you all that video footage from where your desk is back there. So why is your camera any different than mine? Look, she big mad. Look, she big mad back there. Look at her. Damn, Michelle. Look at her. She's big mad because I went and refiled it. She wants me to pay that $689. She wants that. She's big mad because I'm not going to. There you go. Thank you, sir. You got it. No, you don't. No, you don't. I have the right, ma'am. I have a First Amendment right to file, ma'am. I have a First Amendment right to petition my government for grievances. I have the right to file this anonymously, ma'am. If you want to deny me the right to file this, I will be going over to the county attorney to drop off a letter of intent to sue. Just because you don't like the fact that I'm holding you guys accountable doesn't mean you can't let me do this. public information. I don't have to give my name to receive it. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Falter, reference a complaint. You made a term. Uh, case is not considered closed. This person of exonerated. <laughs> they didn't do anything wrong. I knew that was going to happen. Of course you're going to exonerate them with their own bullshit. You let them investigate themselves. No wonder they find it exonerated. Ma'am, I'm going to sit here and ring this bell until you come back over here and take this paper from me. Michelle, can you tell her to do her job, please? Can you, can you tell her to do her job, please, Michelle? Thank you. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I don't know why she wouldn't take it. She said I had to put my name on there. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have, well, fortunately for me, unfortunately for you, I don't have to do that. I have a First Amendment right to petition my government for grievances, and I have a Fourth Amendment right not to surrender my, uh, not to unlawful searches and seizures. I don't have to surrender my identity to file a complaint at all. I have the right to file that anonymously. She can't deny me of that just because she doesn't like the fact that I'm recording her. Well, I'm explaining to you. I'm explaining to you, ma'am, because apparently there's some sort of, Apparently, there, they, apparently there's some sort of like disconnect or, or like misconception of what it is you guys are supposed to be doing back there. So I was explaining that way there's no, you know, uh, discrepancies or there's no so, misunderstandings. The problem, the problem is we don't really have a good description of what you're looking for. I gave you an incident report. You have it. There's two incident reports. There's the internal investigation repairs or internal investigation internal affairs investigation report number and also the incident report number that Matthew Slajewski just gave me out here two seconds ago both of them are written on there you guys are mad because I'm not putting my name my signature is at the bottom just read the signature for Christ's sake seriously that's not my problem ma'am I have the right to file this and I'm filing it if you guys want to deny me of that again I suggest you go look up U.S. Code 18242 and 421983 before you try to deny me of that. I'm telling you, they try to make you jump through every fucking hoop out here, bro. They want you to jump through hoops. They make it as hard as possible. Can I have your name, ma'am? No. No? 
You know I'm going to get that information, right? Yeah, I will. Then I'll know who to put as the infringing party when I go file a lawsuit on you. Well, no, technically the taxpayers are the ones that are going to pay for it. You're not going to have to pay a dollar, but... No, you won't. The taxpayers will have to pay for your ignorance, but... You always have a bad day. No, having a fine day. Having a fine day, sweetheart. You're obviously having a bad day. You're the one who's upset about what I'm doing. I was fine. You're the one who got upset that I was videotaping. I wasn't even upset that I had to come out here and refill out that paperwork at all. I even drove all the way out here. I wasn't upset. Yeah. I need to find something to do with my life. I'm doing it right now, sweetheart. You're doing your job. Or sorry, you're getting paid to do a job that you're not doing. Find something to do with your life. Is that how you speak to taxpaying citizens? Public servant? Is that your standards of professionalism? I just get my copy so I can go? Ma'am, I got business to take care of today. Sorry. That's okay, thank you. No Ma'am, can I, can I just have a copy of that report so I can go, please? This is becoming a waste of everybody's time. Okay, so in order for us to wait to see, you need to fill out that form and it'll be reviewed by the management. Okay, that's fine. The management also says she's not going to process it without your name. I'm sorry? You're going to have to fill this out with your name. Put your name up here. No, 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 no. Ma'am, I, okay, I'm going to be very clear. I don't have to do that. I have the right to file these anonymously. I do not have to give up my identity to file an informational act to get public information. All of the information that I'm receiving is open to the public. Therefore, I don't have to surrender my Fourth Amendment right to unlawful searches and seizures of my identity to receive public information. Can you please have her come tell me to my face that she is not going to file this without my name. So that way I have the proper evidence so I, when I go over to 2660 Reaver Road and stop at Gregory Swain and I fill out one of these intent to sue forms, I have it on camera and I have the evidence that she is depriving me of these public services. You go tell her to look up 18 U.S. Code 242 and 42 U.S. Code 1983 before she tries to do that. I'm not trying to do this on anybody. I don't want to cost the taxpayers of this county or this state any more money than you guys already do. But I will if you try and deny me filing this paper. I have the right to file grievances. I have the right to petition my government. And I have the right to public information. I have the right to FOIA, or as you guys call it here in Maryland, PIA, this information. And I do not have to give up my identity or 
you don't have the right to seize my identity in order for me to receive that information. I do not have to divulge that information to you. I have the right to receive this information anonymously. It's not see what happens, ma'am. You guys need to file this. Please have her. I see her sitting back there. Have her come tell me to my face that she's denying me so I have the proper evidence, ma'am. You have to submit the request before they can do anything. It doesn't matter. I've already I've already submitted the form. Let's say I go ahead and agree to pay the forty dollars. Aaron, you actually came out and helped me a couple years ago. That's funny that they try and say you didn't work here when I came up here a, a, a couple months ago. They said it's been years since you worked here. It's funny that I find you in the department now. I appreciate you. Okay. You are the only person who I'm has ever here. helped me as far as internal affairs, and you are the one person that gives me hope that police report. departments aren't no, pieces of shit everywhere me. I go. I filled out a FOIA request for the video footage from a different incident that I opened up here involving detectives over at the CID building. They're telling me that I have to give up my name in order to receive this public information. This information is open to the public. That would be requiring me to give up my Fourth Amendment right to receive public information. I know, but they're saying generally, but I don't have to. No, no, what I'm saying is generally because it's some, there are some things that are still subject to redaction because like there might be HIPAA things in a home. There could be juveniles involved in things. And so if you are, let's just say hypothetically, let's go to a different scenario. Okay. I know, but before we even go hypothetically, I'm going to let you know that I already filed one of these and they sent me a letter saying it would cost me between 480 to $650 for all this information when all I requested so was I the CD of the video footage. So I'm coming here just filing a more condensed version so there's no discrepancies or misunderstandings about what it is that I am trying to file. At first they told me, oh, they don't know what's going on because there's no incident. Da, da, da. I said I put in the internal affairs number and I put in the police report number. You have all of that information. They're trying to deny me to fill this out and they're trying to deny me the right to file this because I don't want to give them my name. It's sign yeah. right here at the bottom for Christ's sake. So Zaleski yeah. was just out here talking that to me. You guys have all my information if you really yeah. wanted to get it. But regardless, I have the right to file this I'm anonymously. Sorry. It is a FOIA request. I don't have to yeah. give up. I don't even have to put my phone number or my uh, address or anything. This form that they, said they gave me this so I can waive the $40 okay, fee, you. which I was going to ask for. But at this point, I don't even care. I'll pay the $40 just so y'all will, you so I can go. Hey, no, 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 I can't. I know you can. I'm I know. So you don't need to. But I'm going to because You're of the way that they've acted. No, it's not. It. They've made it very clear multiple times that they're trying to deny me of the rights that I have. I'm going to sit here and act as accordingly as I want so to. So is this filled out the way that you need it filled out? It's filled out the way that I need to fill it out. It's not what they want. I'm sorry. Hold on. I just need to hear what you're saying. I'm okay. Sorry. Okay, they have a, it's like a chain of custody, is no, what you're saying? No, it's not. No. Okay. No, it's public information, ma'am. Name in the report. Well, I'm sure there's multiple people in, in the report. whatever report you're talking about, right? I filed the report. But, I'm the filing oh, partner. Oh, right, right, right. But I'm saying, you're saying, are you the only person listed in this police report? Is that what you're saying? There may be one other person listed in the police report. Okay, but the other person listed in the police report may not be entitled to request it if, or if you were a juvenile, like if somebody... Neither one of those. It doesn't matter. It does, because they it have doesn't. to be able to check off the boxes to be sure that that's fine. somebody yeah. in the report is not a juvenile, to be sure that the person that's requesting it meets the... It's, there is there's okay. legal criteria that they have to meet. That's all. And if you're saying no, we have your information, no. why can't you... Why can't can't. If you have it, well, I need to put it. You're saying that yeah. they have it, but they are—they don't know that. I've they already have filed it. one of these. I've already filed one of these. She knows who I am. Man, they know who I am. They know who I am. If they're going to okay. sit here and cry about it, they know who I am. But again, I have—I I have a right to file this. I do not have to give up my name or identity to file and request public information. I have a Fourth Amendment right to unlawful searches and seizures of my identity. I okay. do not have to give that up. Well, I I'm, also have a First Amendment right okay. to public information and to file grievances and petition my government I, for grievances. Yeah, so I don't understand what the she, issue is. You she, need to let yeah. them know that 18, 18 U.S. Code 242 okay. makes it a crime to deprive me of public services. They're trying to deny me of public services. I am not trying to cost the taxpayers of this county or this state any more money than this police department already does. Okay. They fuck up enough and cost us enough money. I am not trying to have me pay my own self out of my taxes that I pay. 
Okay. I'm just trying to request public information. They're making it a big deal. This lady over here sitting behind her made it a big deal because I have my camera. Apparently, she's upset that I have a camera on while you guys wear cameras. You got one. I don't see her throwing a fit right now. There's 27 cameras in this building I can see. Okay. I can request all that footage. I don't see her crying because they're videotaping her. Okay. But she wants to come up and try to deny me of services. Oh, I already told you, you need to get a life. That's not professional. That's right, not how you so treat public. That's not how you treat private citizens. So she'll run this through her supervisor and then yeah. she's... They, that's fine. She'll just run it through a supervisor and we'll go She already there. did. She went back there and talked to Michelle and Michelle cried about it and said I need to put my name on there. All right. Regardless, I'm not putting my name. I am not surrendering my rights to file for public information just because y'all want me to. Just okay. because generally that's how it's done doesn't mean I have to do it that way. Okay. Well, um, they're more the expert on this, so I would have to talk to them. Apparently they're not. Well, I, I would have to see documentation Apparently. that they're, what they're basing their, their uh, criteria on. So I don't... I'm not going to yeah, to I would like to see. It. I would like to see the piece of legislation that gives them the right to override the Constitution and make me identify myself to receive public information. I would love to see the legislation that says that. If you can find it, please bring it out here. If not, I want the paper filed. I want it time stamped, dated, and a copy made and returned to me so I can go about my fucking business. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what, what Some of us have shit office? to do today. Ma'am, can I just get a copy of my document so I can go, please? I'm sorry? Would you say about telling my mother what? No, I'm asking for a copy of my document so I can go about my business. I don't know why you brought my mother into this. I don't know why you're being rude to me. I don't know why you're acting like an asshole, but okay. I know you're upset like what why are you bringing up my mother how about you behave yourself and do your own job how about you go do your goddamn job don't you bring my family into this man how about you go do your job no no i'll talk to her how i can want to you go do your job go sit down and do your job ma'am you're gonna learn today y'all are gonna and find out today. Let her call the cops. Call them. But basically, the number you call, is this something so they can fill They're about to get themselves in trouble over here. Yeah. You don't talk to me like that. You don't talk to me like that either, ma'am. You don't speak to me like that. Yeah, you're going to find out real quick you don't. What's that shit? You're going to learn today. Yeah, you're going to find out today, aren't you? You're going to find out. Keep dancing. You're going to dance yourself right into a fucking lawsuit, you dumbass. It's a cop sitting right out here and she ain't doing nothing. You wonder why. Because I'm not doing nothing wrong. Okay. I'm not doing nothing for you. You're not doing your job for me. I'm not doing nothing for you. The fuck you think I'm gonna sit here and do something for you? You're the public servant. Hi. You want her attention? Go get it. I was here to pick up a case. What's that? No, I'm gonna give this back to you. Um, and and tell her that his is full. And tell her he's on it. There's no action on that. Okay. And tell her he's on it. Can you just excuse me for one second? I need to. Yeah, because I can still hear you. Don't want to be obstructing the doorway. Is somebody waiting right in here? I'm sorry? Is somebody yeah, yeah, I've been waiting 30 minutes. I, I turned in what are you waiting for? A, a, a date stamped copy of my paperwork and may return to me, so I have... 
evidence that it was turned in here. So I'll be waiting 30 minutes for someone to make a copy of one single piece of paper. Don't understand what the issue is. Okay. Can you stop cussing? We have other people. Down no, there. I'm good. No, I'm saying stop cussing. No, I'm good. Okay, what, what I'm is just it? telling you, you to stop. Okay. Well, I'm telling you I'm your, good. Have you put in your request, sir? And I'm telling you I'm good. Sir. Have you put my in speech your is my speech, sir. Don't you try and don't, don't you try and restrict my speech. We're, we're, we're trying, we're to, trying help to help you. you. No, you're yeah. not. I don't okay. need any help from you. I don't. I didn't call you here. I didn't ask you to come out here and speak okay. to me. You're in a public place. You're right. I'm in a public place. You're right. No, I can, sir. That's disorderly conduct. No, it's not. Cussing is not. It is. No, okay. Cohen v. California, 1971. The Supreme Court has ruled that it's protected as free speech. Sure somebody's I'm you. not screaming and I'm not being disorderly. So no, it's not disorderly conduct. Oh, I can sit out here and tell you to go fuck yourself if I want okay. to, Did and you? there's nothing you can do about it, sir. Cohen v. California, 1971. Do you want us to help you or not? I didn't ask for your help. Okay, stop cussing. I don't, I'm not yeah, asking for your help. I'm asking you to leave me alone is what I'm asking. Do they help you at the window? No, they're not. I've been waiting 30 minutes for help. I explained that to you twice now. No, no, no. I just came out here. You haven't explained it to me. I explained it to both of you when you walked out here. I've been waiting 30 minutes for them to make a copy sure, of a is, single piece of paper. This is the first and, time I've talked to you. No, it's I not. Ma'am, it's all on video. I just sat here and told both of what you and you got upset because I said that I was waiting 30 minutes for a single piece of paper. So again, for the third time, I am waiting for them over here to make a single copy of a piece of paper that I turned in. I turned in a FOIA request. I want it date, stamped, copied and returned to me so there's evidence that I turned it in like every other FOIA request I do. I'm not sure why this one's taking 30 minutes or what the issue is, but I didn't call you out here. I didn't ask for your help. So don't come out here and be like, oh, I'm trying to help you and da da da. I didn't ask for your help, ma'am. Okay, first of all, let's I didn't find ask out you to come out here and infringe for, upon we'll my rights. On the request. You're coming here to asking for help because you want something. No, I'm not coming We're here asking for help. No, I'm not asking for any help. I came here I and I filled out a FOIA request. I'm not for. asking for your help. You I've said it four times. Something. I filled out a FOIA request. The Central Records Department handles that, not the police, not uniformed police officers. Sir, so why are you out here speaking police. to me? They're police department. Okay, but do you do here. you go do FOIA requests? Do you personally handle FOIA requests? Then yes, why are you they, out they here work speaking? Under us. Do you? Yes, we do. Do you? Yes, we are the major in charge of this. Can you identify yes. yourself, please? I'm Major Katie Goodwin with the Anne Arundel County Police Badge Department. number, please. Eleven thirty-three. Can you identify yourself, sir? Corporal Dennis Shum and ID number twelve seventy-four. You want to identify yourself, sir? Of course, Corporal Joey Gatens, ID one five three. Too. Awesome. Let me go. Now, uniform police that. officers don't handle FOIA requests, and I didn't ask for any of your help, Katie Goodwin. So I don't appreciate you coming out here and trying to restrict my, restrict my speech in a public place. I don't appreciate any of you. FOIA requests all the time. What are you trying to find? I, I, I filled it out already. Well, you didn't get it, did you? No, I'm waiting for them to make a copy and give it back to me. Maybe now he's back there crying about the fact that I used a curse word. No, he's Guess probably, what? He's Guess what? Trying to find out Guess what? what? I can tell him to go himself all I want well, that's to, not the sir. problem. I understand you're saying that. But you've got ladies sitting there. In that's the lobby. fine. Guess what? It's public lobby, sir. It's my, it my is speech is protected. Well, you need to my be, speech you is should, protected. Should, if should they don't want to hear it, they can walk out the door. You, know, you, should, you should respect other people's rights too, right? I mean, you should respect my rights because I'm you you took rights. an oath to uphold my rights. You took an oath to serve the public and uphold my rights. Sir, you I'm should respect them, sir. You should respect my rights. Then go have them make a copy, please. That's what he's back there checking on. Then 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 why are you out here talking? Because they said that you might need help, and I do. No, they didn't say I might need help. She got all butthurt because I was videotaping her, and she called y'all up here to try to throw me out of a public lobby, and you realize that she can't. That's what I said. There's 27 cameras back there, so why are they crying about mine? Why is mine the issue, sir? I don't know. I just got here. Yeah. So why are you even speaking to me if you just walked out here? Why are you because acting I, like you've been involved here? I don't need your help, though. I've stated to y'all multiple times, I don't need any help from any of you. Right, well, I, I need them here. to do their job. I work here. That's fine. So I can be wherever I want. Okay. Well, just because I work at a restaurant and someone else is serving on you doesn't mean I come up and start taking your order just because I work at that restaurant. I don't go, well, I work here, so I get to take this table and get to take your order. Well, it's not how it works, sir. It's not how it works. The cook doesn't come out and start taking your order just because he just, you know, because he felt like coming to make some money today. Well, if you sit back there and wash dishes, and you sit back there and you wash dishes, and you wash the dishes the best you can. You don't come out and sit there and try to take orders from people at tables. Just because you work here doesn't mean you get to come out here and do someone else's job. Yeah, there's some issues. I don't know why they can't make a single copy of a piece of paper. There's an FBI office in Annapolis, ma'am. They're right here. There's a box right here. 
Yeah. Can I just have one, please? Same. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You got that crap, too? Good, good. See, now you got seven officers running in here like I did something wrong. Wrong. When in reality, all you had to do was make a copy of my paperwork and I'd have been gone 30 minutes ago. It's a little bit more than that. This guy is it's not a little bit more than anything. Then why are we all here? Why are you here? People come here all day and get paperwork. So why, you're right, they do. So why is it my, why is it an issue that I can't get a copy of my paperwork? No clue. You're right, they come here. You're right, they come here. They go find out and stop talking to me. Because well, they're working on it. Officers back there they're working on it. They look, I can see them right now, they're working on it. Good, they should be. It's only been 30 minutes. Well, I don't think there's a, a piece of paper that says how long you're going to wait or not wait when you come in here. No, you're right. But you're sitting here saying that people come in here and do this all the time as if it's some easy process. Then why is it taking forever? That's fine. I, I do for you. Okay, that's fine. And all I simply asked, and all I simply asked was, hey, ma'am, and it's all on video. Hey, ma'am, can I get a copy of the paperwork? So I can... You need to sit down. Your mother be ashamed of you. Okay, I didn't say that to them. She said that to me. Why did she say that? I have no idea, sir. Go ask her. I don't know why she says the things that come out of her mouth. I, I don't control her body. I know every single person who works back there. I don't control their unprofessionalism. I don't control their unprofessionalism. I can tell you what I've worked here for over 20 years. But to sit here and come out, okay, but to sit here, but to sit here and try to solicit, to me. but to try, are you going to listen to No, me? I'm not. Because to try to solicit a disorderly conduct is illegal. So you can't sit here and try to solicit a disorderly conduct out of me. I wasn't being disorderly at all. I think if we were trying now to... I've got one, two, three, four, and I already had two other people out here talking to me. I've now had six uniform officers make contact with me, okay. and I didn't call or ask for any of y'all's help. Look all this free help you have. Why are you upset? I don't want any of it. I've said I don't want it. Then why are you here? I've asked you to be away from me. Well, we work here, so that's not... Why am I here? I've explained it six times. I didn't times. ask you that. Then why are you here? Then why are you here? Then why are you here? You just did, sir. No, you I just did. You want You want to see it? No, no. You yes, just said. You just said, then why are you here? I'll show it to you when we're done. No, show you, it to me no, now. no. When I'm done videotaping and continuously recording, because I'm, I'm not going to have you come violate my rights. I'm not going to be here. That's fine then. That's fine. Neither me. I'm waiting for this paperwork and I'm on. Right. I've been trying to leave for 30 minutes. I've asked six different times on video for a copy so I can go. All I've seen is you try to talk over every single person that's tried to talk. No, to you've you. seen me ask six times for y'all to leave me alone. I've told y'all multiple times that I'm waiting for a single copy of a single piece of paper. They're upset because I didn't write my name on it. Guess what? I don't have to write it. It's public information. I have the right to follow these things anonymously. Gotcha. This lady right here is the one that called because she's all upset because I stood up to the lady that was being rude to me. Yeah. There's no need for six of y'all to come up here and make contact with me. But you did. It's a waste of taxpayer dollars. You're right. Y'all could be out there deterring some real crime. Y'all could be out there doing some real police work, but instead you're in here crying about a guy with a camera trying to file a uh, FOIA request. He's mad because I called it a fucking piece of paper. Oh my God. Cohen v. California, 1971, the Supreme Court rules that I have free speech as long as I'm not being disorderly. You can't sit here and just say I'm being disorderly because you want it to be disorderly. Just because it works for you doesn't mean you can sit there and say that. You can do it unlawfully if you want to, and I'll just file a lawsuit on you. But you don't get to say someone's being disorderly because they're asking for the same services that every other private citizen gets. <clears throat> like he said, people come in here and do this all the time. So why am I being treated any different? Why, because I'm suing you guys? You don't want to give me the proper paperwork? You don't want to give me the information? I'm not to walk to my car and get my other GoPro battery and come back. Hopefully my piece of paper will be sitting up there when I get back. All right, we went and got the other battery. Now we're back. I've only been gone for maybe two minutes at most. So hopefully they got their shit in order. Hopefully they did their job and we can grab this paperwork and be on our way. Oh, shucks. All right, sir, they have your paperwork. Awesome. I'll be in touch with you once it's processed. I need okay? a copy. It doesn't work that way. You it don't does. get the same day. Yeah, no, I do. No, I get a copy. I have one at home. I've already done this. We, we've submitted it. Gets, it, gets, it gets time stamped and copied. That way I have proof of what it says, ma'am. 
still contact you. They put your yeah, no, but I, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but I get proof of what it says. I get a timestamp copy. It's what I'm waiting 30 minutes for. I'm not leaving without that. Yeah, I've asked that six times. You, you, you know that because you walk. I said that when you first walked out here, man. Okay. Stop playing dumb. You did it, but we'll clear it. What do you mean? A copy, a, a date part. stamp copy yeah. of my paperwork, and me returning me, so I have evidence that it was turned in here. I've been waiting 30 minutes for someone to make a copy of one single piece of paper. I've been waiting 30 minutes for help. I explained that to you twice now. No, no, no. I just came out here. You haven't explained it. I explained to it to both of you when you walked out here. That I've been waiting 30 minutes for them to make a copy Sir, of a single is, piece of paper. This is the first and, time I've talked to you. No, it's I not. Ma'am, it's all on video. So again, for the third time, I am waiting for them over here to make a single copy of a piece of paper that I turned in. I turned in a FOIA request. I want it date stamped. Copied and returned to me, so there's evidence that I turned it in. I'll leave it without that. Copy of oh, yeah, I've asked that six times. You, you, you know that because you walk. I said that when you first walked out here, man. Okay. Stop playing dumb. You did it, but we'll clear it. I did. Do that I did. Okay, we'll make you a copy. We'll also sit here and review the footage because I'm gonna file. Okay. I'm gonna file a complaint okay. for your deprivation of public services. Yeah. 18 U.S. Code 242, okay. ma'am. Yeah. 42 U.S. Code 1983, ma'am. We're gonna sit here and file complaints for the deprivation of public services. Damn, like y'all are big mad that I gotta sit here and act like that, aren't you? What's sad is that I have to sit here and do this to get the same f***ing help that every other private citizen gets. That's what's sad, man. That this is how y'all treat tax-paying private citizens. Sad. Just because you don't like what I'm doing here, or you don't like the information that I'm receiving, or what I'm doing with it, doesn't mean y'all get the right to deprive me from having it. You gotta learn that real quick. Nice people got to go to law school to get this type of education. Don't worry, I'm giving it out for free. I only charge $50 per officer for my services, so I'll be billing an invoice to this department for all six of you. You thought I was joking, too. I'm dead ass. I'm dead butt serious. $50 per each one of y'all. It's an educational fee. $50 per lecture, just like y'all charge $40 per audio, video, okay. photograph, CD. Right, I don't know why she came back up here without that copy. I told both of them when they walked yeah, out here, it's what I was waiting for. Yes, ma'am, I can do that for you. Sorry, they're taking a while. It's a little slow over here today, sir. At this rate, it'll be 227 by the time you make it to the window. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. Here they come. Hopefully, they got our paper with them. All right. So, it will be in here. Uh, it'll be uh, Corporal Escort will be in. Escort. Yes, like. All right. So, they can come in through the front door. Okay. All right. And um, they can. Probably let you fill out your online form uh, so that you can talk to us. Yeah. They're going to explain to you, hand you back to the seat, explain to you what the next step of the process is, okay? No, I mean, I've already gone through this once, so I don't understand why it's being handled differently than it would have before. Well, so. They're going to explain it to you, and once they explain it to you, they'll be in contact. Yeah, they okay? tried to explain something before, but okay, we'll wait and see. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. All right, but yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I, he, he's on that side. You can come to this side. Sir, you, you mind switching sides with me? They're, they're being, I don't know why they want me to walk to this window instead of that one. What's up? Uh-huh, absolutely. Okay. You want it in cash? You want it in card? How you want it? Absolutely. I just want to be clear, the $40 I'm paying is for the video footage of the lobby that's contained in that, in that investigative report, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And yep. Yep. Okay. okay. Cool. That's fine. Yeah, that's why I did this. I just took a picture of this. You're very welcome. All right. I don't know why that was so hard and why it took 45 minutes and six police officers for y'all to do your job, but. Glad we got there. Glad we got there today, guys. We did it together.
It's a learning experience for all of us. Like I told them, I charge fifty dollars per uh, per public servant for educational purposes. So you want me to sign this? Yep, for educational purposes. So I'll make sure I bill for one, two, th four of you guys as well. Okay. Sorry, five of you, including the lady in the back, as a dickhead. Man, y'all are so mad that I got that, don't you? Oh. Shucks, gentlemen, that sucks, huh?